Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Math Guy. Today, finally, we are going to be learning about the general equation of second degree. Now, what is the general equation of second degree? This equation right here is known as the general equation of second degree. But you may have also seen this equation in another form, which is this one. So, there is basically no difference between these two equations, both are equations of second degree and both can be treated in various ways so as to get results which will give us information about conics or straight lines. Now, we are not going to be dealing with these equations today. We are going to be dealing with an equation which is derived from these equations which is this one. So, you can clearly understand that I am using the first equation, this equation here. Now, this delta does not signify area. It is a, a derived equation which is, which can be explained with the help of the determinant of a symmetric matrix. Now, this equation here is very important because we can actually understand if the equation of a given curve is a conic or is it a pair of uh, or does it denote a pair of straight lines so this is how we are going to do it so we see that if delta is not equal to 0 the equation of the curve symbolizes conic sections and if delta is equal to 0 the equation of the curve is the equation of a pair of straight lines now even these have cases now let's start with conic sections so first case if h square is equal to ab it will give parabola Now, next case, if h square is less than ab, we give ellipse. If h square is greater than ab, we will give hyperbola. Now, this particular case has e uh, even lower case. That is, if a plus b is equal to 0, then the equation symbolizes a rectangular hyperbola. And the last case, if h is equal to 0 and a is equal to 0, it symbolizes a circle. Now we come to the cases of the pair of straight lines. If h square is equal to ab, now the conditions are very similar to the ones for conic sections. It is just that the delta is not equal to 0 and delta is equal to 0. So when h square is equal to ab, it symbolizes parallel lines. I am using the symbol for parallel because I don't have that much space. Next, if h square is less than ab, symbolizes imaginary lines then if h square is greater than ab symbolizes intersecting lines this 
this is intersecting lines i'll just rewrite it for you and this case has a further sub case or the lower case lower case is a different thing sub case so if a plus b is equal to 0 it is perpendicular lines that is the lines are intersecting at 90 degrees so this is today's lesson and I will meet you with the next video of math guide if you did like the video please give a like and if you want to see more please subscribe to my channel